Hey there guys, uh, Jeremy again here, Consciousness Awake, uh, sending you tons of positive energy like always. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, we hit the 500 subscriber mark uh, just a few days back. So again, thank you for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, Anthony, yes, when we hit 1K, um, I will have a glass of wine uh, on that um 1k uh, video uh, when we hit that so I, I promise you i will all right and um and you'll have to send me a picture of you with your uh glass of wine or something all right so um today's video um i want to um talk about something um this pertains to some questions um and um, emails, whatnot, from subscribers so far. I, I really like to engage with you guys. So your comments and uh, especially the emails um, and your own out-of-body experiences that you're turning into the website. Um, you know, all of this stuff is super important for us to have a community mind state and all get um, really connected with one another. Um, and uh, today's video, uh, I want to talk about um, activating the seventh chakra, you know, at the top of your head. Activating your seventh chakra to assist with um, your meditation, but more or less to assist with um, your out of body experiences or astral projection experiences so that you can experience consciousness. Uh, meditation is awesome. People meditate for uh, multiple reasons, um, and uh, but uh, meditation to me is a really, uh, really uh, important um, consciousness exploration tool. Okay, and and going in with the right intention through the through the level of through the awareness of consciousness. Uh, and combining that with the intent, and combining that with meditation, um, you will see amazing, uh, uh, amazing growth um, in your spiritual knowledge. Uh, and it's not just spiritual knowledge; um, it's just just being more aware. You know, really, that, that's about it. Just the more aware you become the more knowledgeable you become about your reality and about your own uh, spirit self uh, and yourself in general. So, so, let's say, so let's talk about this. So how, how do we activate the, um, how do we activate the seventh chakra at the top of the head um, to assist us in our meditation to explore consciousness? So what you want to do is just, uh, you can lay down if you want to, um, uh, but for this particular exercise, um, I would do it uh, sit, sitting. Uh, sitting, um, And then typically what I do, if I do this, I, I do it sitting down, and then I just go, I lay down on my pressure-resistant meditation mat, you know, right after to meditate. Uh, <clears throat> so you want to take um, both your hands, and you want to uh, get your fingers together like this, okay? Just like that and then place that place the fingertips downward on the top of your head right in the center of the, of the top of your head and then pretend like you're uh, prying open your skull with your all your fingertips with your fingernails you're just slowly pulling down like this it's kind of like a massage you know you're putting some pressure into this this is not light light pressure it's good pressure kind of dig your fingertips into the top of your head and, and just start pulling down in opposite directions just like this just like this and bring it all the way down to the ears and then work your way down on the lower back of your head. And then take either hand and place it a couple inches above the top of your head. 
feel what you feel. So you should feel, you know, heat, vibration, just energy in general, uh, sensation. Um, you'll feel it. And then lift up your hand slowly, higher and higher. Until you don't feel it anymore. Okay? Then go back. And do the same thing. Just repeat the same process. All right, you're going down. Doing the whole process. But this time, this time crawl back up like spider legs, like a, like a spider's crawl with all your fingers. Crawl, crawl back up to the top of your head. And then repeat the process. Okay? Like prying open your chakra. Okay? Right? And then take your hand. Feel the top of your head. What you'll notice is more tingling, more energy, more heat, more sensations, more vibrations <clears throat> that, will, that are coming up even more, coming up even higher. You're, you're doing energy work. You're basically doing energy work on your own uh, seventh chakra, and your crown chakra, to get it more energized. So all our chakras are always flowing. They're all open. Uh, if there's no such thing as having a completely shut down chakra, uh, well, I guess it, it's possible, but, but, uh, but for the most part, um, there's energy, positive, negative energy. There's, there's energy flowing at some velocity, some, some level of vibrational frequency. It is, it's just happening with all of your chakras all the time, you know. And so there's just all kinds of stuff going on. So it's more about managing your chakras, you know. It's not about turning them on or turning them off or activating them. It's about managing them because they're always basically on. And they're always on if you're an aware person, if you're a spiritually minded person and or if you're if you're if you're an atheist or anybody else, I mean, the, the chakra system has nothing to do with our beliefs. It's just a it's just an energetic system process that interlinks um, our multiple bodies in different densities of matters in different planes of 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 existence. So, um, but yeah, so. Activating your seventh chakra is a great way to get out of body. Um, I've used that technique to stimulate the seventh chakra, crown chakra, and then lay down afterwards to meditate. And then I'll meditate, do my meditation process, which is typically a four-step process. I've made some other videos about it, um, it you know, a couple months ago. Uh, and um, and so I'll basically meditate to go out of body through the top of my head. Okay, so I can get out, you know, I've gotten out through the solar plex, this region here, I've gotten out through my uh, head, uh, and, but I've also gotten out of body uh, through different parts of, uh, diff different ways, you know, uh, through, through my feet, um, uh, even uh, more or less with my leg, you know, connecting to my etheric, uh, etheric leg. Uh, and putting consciousness into that leg and then kind of harnessing that and then kind of rolling out of body. And so, yeah, but, but, but primarily though, it is through the solar plex for me and through the top of the head. So I've noticed that when I do that, uh, uh, that, that exercise, this, this exercise I just, I just showed you to, um, you know, activate, um, your seventh chakra to intensify it, to make it more energetic. Um, uh, um, that, um, you know, you, you can then more easily get out of body, uh, through meditation, uh, through the top of your head. So that is, this is all coming from personal experience with it. Um, try it out. Let me know how it works for you. Uh, I would appreciate some feedback or comments on that. And, and if you've ever tried this particular type of exercise before to get out of body through your seventh chakra, um, uh, let, let me know. I'd love to hear uh, your own experience with that. So like, subscribe, share. Um, and again, thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Peace out.